Forge. It is one of the most popular Minecraft mod loaders. We're going to show you how to install it in this video. First things first, go to the second link down below. That will take you here. This is where you can get our in-depth text guide to getting Forge, and also click this download button here to go to the official download page. If you'd rather find it via Google, though, just go to Google and search Minecraft Forge Download. When you do that, it will take you to where you can click this and go to the official Forge download page. And on this page, you'll want to select 1.21.8 on the left-hand side if it's not already selected. Then come under Download Latest, click on Installer, and you'll go to Add Focus or Stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just wait about 10 seconds, and then after about 10 seconds, the red skip button will appear in the top right, and you click that, and Forge will begin downloading. As long as Forge is in the title, you're 100% good to click Save here. Now, you'll also want to download some Minecraft mods. The trusted places to do this are Moderinth and CurseForge, so Moderinth here and CurseForge, and you can find these via Google and in the description down below. But if you just Google Minecraft mod downloads, these two will be the top links here. Nevertheless, on these sites, you want to make sure when you're downloading mods that you are filtering for Forge and 1.21.8 as other mods for other versions won't work. We're going to go ahead and grab Waystones here, so we can go ahead and click on this, click on Files, and then you want to sort again for the game version and the Forge mod loader. Now when we go ahead and download this, it wouldn't work if we just install it. That's because we click download here, the download begins, but this also, as we can see here, requires Balm. How can you check that? Well, after your mod's downloaded, you would come back to this page, which we got to by selecting the file here, and then once you've done that, it will take you to where we can click on Related Projects. Under that, you will see Required Dependency Balm, and we can go ahead and download this as well for Forge 1.21.8. Most of the time when you install, for, install a mod for Forge or any other Minecraft mod loader and it doesn't work, it's because you're missing one of these right here. Some sort of compatibility mod or something like that. We can also search on Modrinth for 1.21.8 Forge mods. And when we do that, we can find, for example, Xero's Minimap. This is an amazing Minimap mod. And we can go ahead and select that Forge version. Now we can see here there are dependencies listed on Moderinth as well, but this is optional, meaning it's not something we need in order for Xero's minimap to work, so we can just go ahead and click download. Now with all the mods downloaded, how to quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, like Forge mods, to your server and customize your server any way that you want with even one-click installation of mod packs. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now with our mods downloaded, we can get everything up and running. To do that, go ahead and find the mods you downloaded. Most likely they'll be in your downloads folder here. And then on this Forge installer, right click on it, click open with Java. If you can't open it with Java for some reason, you probably need to get Java 21, which is of course linked down below, and you can just Google Java 21 download to get this set up and running for Minecraft. You may also need to run the jar fix, which is just basically going to fix any jar files that are in a computer and make them work with Java after you've got it. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and open this with Java, and when we do, just click Install Client and click OK. It's that easy, and Forge will now install into Minecraft. You don't need to do anything else from this point other than install your mods. Honestly, the hardest part is getting Forge installed. So once this comes up and says Successfully Installed Client Profile Forge, we can click OK and delete Forge from our Downloads folder. Now let's get these mods installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up your Minecraft Launcher, and then in the Minecraft Launcher, click on Installations, and you'll have this Forge installation. Just hover over it and click the icon that appears, that folder icon that appears, and when you click that folder icon, it will open up your Minecraft folder. And here should, there should be a Mods folder. If there isn't, just make one. Make yourself a Mods folder. Open it and install by dragging and dropping over any Minecraft mods you want. We have Optifine here already installed, but we'll delete that. We have Balm for Waystones and Xero's Minimap all installed for the Forge mod loader now. We can go ahead and play Minecraft using Forge, click play again, and it will open up with all of the mods we've added installed. You can add tons of mods this way, but you can also use the CurseForge app to get mods. And one of the benefits of the CurseForge app is that it will actually allow you to add in dependencies automatically. You don't have to worry about finding them yourself. It just takes care of it. We have our guide to CurseForge linked in the description down below. Nevertheless, on the Minecraft main menu, we can simply click mods here and we'll be able to see all of the mods that are installed. And of course, I will quickly show you them in game. Xero's minimap instantly starts working in the top right and we can go ahead and spawn in 
a waystone, for example, just to show that these are in fact working. So we can name this one AD and we can name this one GHJ because why not? And if we right click, we can teleport quickly between the two of them. There you have it. Waystones is now working. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.